in today's session we will be talking about abcd parameters so in the last class we were discussed we have discussed about we have introduced z parameters y parameters and we have also seen what is h parameters and today we are going to see abcd parameters and before we start with abcd parameters the first question is where do we use abcd parameters whenever you want to cascade two networks i have a two port network like this and another two port network like this and whenever you want to connect these two networks or cascade these two networks we go for abcd parameters so let's call this as abcd parameter of this network i1 i am sorry i i1 v1 let's this as v2 and this as say i2 this would be let's call this as v1 dash i1 dash a dash b dash c dash d dash and this is say i2 dash and v2 dash and if you want to connect or cascade these two networks then we go for abcd parameters so this is how we write abcd parameters v1 i1 is equal to a b c d and uh, v2 minus i2 this is the abcd parameter of a single two port network suppose let's assume that we need to find out the abcd parameters of this cascaded network let's see how we can find out the abcd parameter of this cascaded network so the abcd parameter of a single two port network is given by this by this equation let's call this as 1 and uh, now let's say i1 let's find out the abcd parameter of the two of, of the cascaded network so v1 i1 is equal to a b c d v2 minus i2 this is the abcd parameter of the first network let's write the abcd parameter of the second network v1 dash i1 dash is equal to a dash b dash c dash d dash v2 dash minus i2 dash now look at this voltage v2 the same voltage v2 is applied across the terminals so v2 will be nothing but equal to v1 dash so i can write v2 is equal to v1 dash similarly if you look at the current i2 I, the direction of i2 is this but i'm sorry the direction of i2 i2 is heading inside the port but we have minus i2 here so minus i2 indicates that the direction of current is like this this is minus i2 so minus i2 will be nothing but the current entering into the second port because i2 is the current which is flowing in this direction this will be the current minus i2 and that is the current which is entering into the second network so minus i2 will be nothing but i1 dash so if this is say 1 and this is i'm sorry let's call this as 2 and this is 3 now if we have to write the uh, you know uh, what do you call uh, the abcd parameter of this whole uh, cascader network i can write it like this v1 i1 a b c d look at this v2 can be replaced with v1 dash that is nothing but this voltage and this voltage are same so v2 can be replaced with v1 dash and what is minus i2 i'm sorry minus i2 is the current entering into the second network which will be equal to i1 dash so from 3 i'm say v1 i1 is equal to a b c d what is v1 dash i1 dash a dash b dash c dash d dash and this will be nothing but v2 dash i2 dash i'm sorry minus i2 dash so this is the abcd parameter of your cascaded network and that makes life very simple for us that's the reason the why when we have two networks or when we cascade two networks we go for 
ABCD parameters. We will do a little more analysis on ABCD parameters because in the future when we go for S parameters we will be using ABCD parameters to some extent. So let's do a small analysis of ABCD parameters with respect to an element connected in series and an element connected in parallel. So let's say I have, uh, let's analyze Let's analyze the ABCD parameter of, uh, you know, for resistor connect in series. Alright, so let's call this as R and this is voltage and V1, I1, I2 and V2. So if you want me to calculate, if we calculate the ABCD parameters of this network, we can write, so V1 i1 is equal to a b c d v2 minus i2 so if you expand this i'll have v1 a v2 minus b i2 and i'll have i1 to be equal to i'm sorry c v2 minus d i2 so this is the a b c d parameters and uh, we will be interested in finding out what is the value of A, B, C and D for this series element. So if that is the case, if we need to find out A, what is A, sorry, A will be nothing but V2 by V1 when minus I2 is equal to 0. And what will be C, C will be nothing but V2, I am sorry, I made a mistake here. A will be nothing but V1 by V2 when minus I2 is equal to 0 and C2 will be nothing but I1 by V2 when minus I2 is equal to 0. We usually write I in terms of small letters but it's okay. I1 by V2. So if you look at this, let's find out what is A. A will be nothing but V1 by V2 when I2 is equal to 0. When I2 is equal to 0 means the output is open circuited. Output is open circuit. This side is open circuited. That's where when we have I2 will go to 0. The current will be 0 in an open circuit. So what is V1? V1. This is voltage V1 and this is voltage V2. I'm sure both these voltages are going to be same v because it's the same. There's no drop. So it will be the same. So V1 by V2. Since V1 equal to V2, A will be equal to 1, A will be equal to 1 because the voltage here will be the same, it will be the same voltage here, the voltage across these two points will be the same, will be the same at these two points also. So the next is, we will have C, C is equal to I1 by V2, see this is an open circuit, there is no current that is going to flow through the circuit, right, so what happens, I1 should naturally be 0, so because I1 goes to 0, what is C, C is going to be 0. Now let's define the other two parameters. What are the other two parameters? The other two parameters will be B is equal to V1 by minus I2 when V2 is equal to 0 and uh, C will be equal to V2, am I right? I am sorry, C, we have calculated C. We need D. D is equal to I1 by minus I2 when V2 is equal to 0. So when I see V2 is equal to 0, it means that the output is short circuit. V2 is equal to 0 means output short circuit. So if it is short circuited, let's find out B. What is B? B is nothing but V1 by minus I2. So the current has a closed path, so naturally the current will flow. So B will V1 will be nothing but I1 R. So this will be the current that is, I mean the voltage will be nothing but I1 into R by Ohm's law. And what will be minus I2? Look at this fellow. I2 is nothing but minus I1. I2 will be minus I1. So I can write this as I1 R by I1, I2 because 
I2 is equal to minus I1. It's the same current but in the opposite direction. So I2 is equal to minus I1. So these two flows will cancel. So I'll have B to be equal to R. So B goes to R. And uh, the next flow D, D will be I1 by minus I2. So what is I1 by a minus I2? I2? As I said, I1 and I2 are same. I2 will be equal to minus I1. So D will be nothing but equal to 1. So from this we have calculated the ABCD parameter of this series element. So it is nothing but ABCD parameter of the series element is given by what is A? 1. And what is B? B is nothing but uh, R. C is uh, where is C? C is 0. C is 0 and D is equal to 1. This is the ABCD parameter of the series element and it's important that we make a note of it because we'll be using this in our future. So similarly, if we do the analysis for a shunt element, suppose if I have uh, a shunt element, I'm sorry, let me draw it a little straight for you. Let's say I have a shunt element. If I compute the ABCD parameter of this shunt element, I will get the ABCD but I'm not going to compute it. You can try it in your free time. So the ABCD parameter will be given by 1, 1, 0, 1 over R. This will be the ABCD parameter of your shunt element. So when you have time, just give it a try. But the most interesting fact is, suppose I have an L, a network like this. This makes ABCD parameters very, very interesting. Suppose I have a network like this. And if I ask you to compute the ABCD parameter and say this Z is the impedance of the network and I ask you to compute the ABCD parameter of this fellow, it's nothing but 1, Z, 0 and 1. And suppose if I have an element like this and if I ask you to compute the ABCD parameter of this fellow, it's nothing but 0, 1 over EZ. So this is the ABCD parameter. Now let, let's do calculate the ABCD parameter for this network. I have a network like this. Let's call this J omega L and this is 1 over J omega C and this is say R. And if I ask you to calculate the ABCD parameter of this network, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is, it's a multiplication, we have just seen that. So this follow J omega L, it's in series, so I will have 1 J omega L, 0, 1 and it's in parallel, so I'll have 1 you know what you call uh, 0, 1 over j omega c, so this will become j omega c, 1, and this follows in series, so I'll have 1, r, 0, 1, pretty straightforward. So this is the ABCD parameter of this network, and as I said that uh, whenever you have networks connect, cascaded together, the best parameter to analyze such a network will be the ABCD parameters. So we'll stop here. In the next class, we will see or I will introduce you to what is called as S-parameters, which is the heart of any RF and microwave measurement.